I am really excited to talk to Aisha Scott today. Aisha, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. I'm Aisha Scott and I'm a filmmaker first and foremost. So I write, produce and I direct and I run my own independent production company, A Scott Productions. I'm also a businesswoman, so I have two businesses. One is a an academy teaching filmmaking, creative writing and acting to young people between the age of seven to 25. So I've been running that for about four years off of the back of the production company when things are a bit quiet. And I am, I've i also just established a new trading arm of my company, A Scott Publishing, and I'm in the process of releasing a book, a filmmaking planner for independent and professional filmmakers. So that's like what I've been doing for the past few months. Aisha, it sounds incredible. How do you get to do so much? And also, how did you get to where you are today, where you are producing incredibly powerful and important films, uh, content, running that school? How did you get to that place? So I've always been interested in the entertainment industry and I started out as a poet. So I used to go around London reciting poetry and it was always sort of heavy subjects. It was always based around sort of domestic violence, just sort of child abuse, child abandonment. And I've always been interested in tapping into like human experiences and trauma. So from doing my poetry, I've always had sort of like a strong voice in sort of humanity and change and things like that. Um, I then went on to acting. I did that for many years. So managed to like get involved in loads of projects. I was in a web series. This was way before web series were even popular. So I was in a web series for like three years as a main character. I've done TVCs, I've done fair tasks. I did so many things in acting, but I just found that it was a bit limited, especially I'm talking like 20 years ago for like black actors and stuff. And I just didn't feel like the stories were strong enough. So from there, I ended up going into um, writing. I kind of fell into um, creative writing, to be fair, because um, I knew I always had something for writing, but I just always felt it was like an area I didn't want to go in. Because, you know, people say you're a writer. When you're a bit younger, you think, oh, that sounds a bit boring. So I ended up becoming um, a writer through my creative writing degree. So when I moved from um, acting, I went into um, creative writing and then it just sort of snowballed from there. I got really good feedback from my tutors that I was talented in screenwriting. So I just kind of explored it from there, left uni, did a guerrilla style feature film. And for the past nine years, I've just been making independent films. <laughs> I even asked myself, how do you do it? How did you get here? But I feel like all the dots have connected from my acting background, from doing public speaking, so to speak, with my poetry. It just, your pathway, I feel it just unravels and the dots connect in where you end up. So they all, it, they're all interlinked in some way. Aisha, I think it's such a powerful story that you have because you really went your path and you you discovered your purpose and the, and you're you have an enormous amount of creativity that you're pouring out into all of these projects. Tell us a little bit more about a recent film you did. So the last film that I did, it was actually my directorial debut because I do write, I produce and I direct. And I did a short film called Dismissed and it was based around anti-bullying. And I really just wanted to give a voice to young people who were experiencing bullying and take away a lot of the stigmas because I feel like there's a lot of stigmas around the type of young child who gets bullied. So we explored a young model that was in the school. She was a star pupil and she was being bullied. I also wanted to tap into the teacher's perspective. How does a teacher handle a situ situation like that? What support is offered to the young people? And 
Yeah, it done really well. It got like it's over one point one million views on YouTube at the moment. So <laughs> I know it was it was a piece that I initially started as a four minute short film to apply for a university space when I left my um, degree I was going to go in to do my master's but it just wasn't it wasn't affordable for me to do at the time my son was really young my daughter was also young at the time as well so I just thought I'm just gonna turn it into so it took five years so five years later I turned it into like a 13 minute short film got a team together and just got it made and it had the impact that I was looking for I love that Aisha it's so cool Thank you. What is your main motivator, Aisha? What what gets you out of bed and gets you to uh, write these projects, to produce them, get the financing in? What motivates you? What motivates me is where I'm coming from. So I came from a really sort of deprived community, quite a rough upbringing of violence and a lot of crime. That was up until my 20s. So used to be in a gang and it was a really sort of rough upbringing. So I, I feel like I have that understanding. I see myself as an empath, as a healer. And it's because I've experienced certain traumas throughout my life. And I have an understanding of different perspectives because I've now changed my life around drastically. But I still want to be a voice to the community and be a voice to people who go through certain situations. And I like to tap into like big movie films that are from a new perspective. So I always watch like projects that I'm going to be um, tackling and see how can I tell this story from a new perspective? So that's always my challenge. But that's really where it came from was just the sort of upbringing that I've come from. Being a single mom to two kids as well, I always... They're my motivation. My kids are really motivated. They're in the entertainment industry as well. And they just give me that motivation. It always boosted me <laughs> with my projects. Like they, even with Dismiss, like they had to watch it a hundred times to give me feedback, but it was all worth it. Aisha, I love that because, you know, it's so exciting to hear your story because you really are a, a real role model. And I think you know, you. that's why what, what we do as she can is so powerful, I think, to hear all of your stories and, and how you turned whatever you had around and made it into, into something so powerful. Aisha, what do you think is your top quality? I feel like my top qualities is that I'm a go-getter. Like, I don't take no as an answer. Like, if somebody tells me no, then that is my challenge to see how I can turn it into a yes or how I can do it for myself. And I've always just been quite resilient, quite determined. And I feel like I should have left the industry a long time ago because especially the film industry is a very, very tough industry. There's so much rejection, but it's like, I always see rejection as a redirection. And I say, okay, they said, no, let me prove that I can do this by myself. And, <laughs> and I feel like that's like one of my top qualities is that I'm just always going. I'm always just believing that I'm a dreamer and a doer. So I'm always just believing, no, there is a yes for me somewhere. My time is coming and I just keep going on. Thank you so much for that great feedback. Aisha, what top tips would you give to maybe young girls who want to get into the film industry? So my top tips would be to research the industry, look at directors, producers that inspire you and do your research. If you don't have the money to go to a um, study, like do a degree or a master's or study, filmmaking you can learn so much online through youtube tutorials there's film sites where you can just pick up so many so much information even pinterest is a really good place for filmmakers with filmmaking tips they have a lot of templates on helping you to plot and plan out your films and another tip i would give is to just believe in yourself believe in your vision 
and just to have that patience because filmmaking takes a long time whether you're doing a short film whether you're doing a feature film it takes the same work the same time and same effort and I feel like when you have that vision it will manifest into reality it's just seeing it through and just keep, keep going even if it's a film that you want to shoot on your phone or on a DSLR or just a smaller camera it's something that's achievable. I'm evidence that it can happen. I've never been to film school, by the way, so I'm proof that it can happen. And also I have my filmmaking planner, so follow us for more information on that because that would definitely help young people because that's the target market for my planners. I think that our listeners definitely have to head to your website, see Dismissed and, and, and get all the information they need. Aisha, yeah. what plans or goals or dreams do you have for your future? What, Where are you heading with A. Scott Productions? Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> so my dreams and plans for the future is to, the immediate future is to make my um, feature film, so a more mainstream feature film. This will be a credit that will bring me more into the mainstream industry, and that is... Um, to get that made at the end of this year for my feature film Absent. It's based on absent parenting and highlighting just the impact of the broken home and the struggles that a single parent has to go through in society with a lot of the stigmas and just following that journey of how do you forgive the partner and go through that whole journey. So it's another powerful film but I've taken the route of more financing the film to take my career to the next level. So that's like in the immediate future. I'm also working on a documentary at the moment with the Warriors, and it's based on um, eight Afghanistan refugees who escaped pretty much torture for um, wanting to be cyclists. So we are following their journey to... Um, compete in the Olympics, which is really interesting. Really amazing girls, been through so much in their lives. And they're just so soft and they're just so resilient and just following their dreams to become cyclists against the odds. So that's a project that I'm working on now. For more long-term um, plans and goals. So um, as I said, I'm releasing my filmmaking planner I'm hoping that will be a series of planners and notebooks for the industry so I'm going to be continuing those and I also want to have my own film school so that's like my big sort of long-term dream is to have a school like the Brits but I feel like the Brits has sort of kept their model so looking at something more modern like introducing different areas of entertainment into the school and just more up-to-date ways of teaching, really. So they're really my sort of goals and plans for the future. And obviously for A. Scott Production to be a household name. Amazing, Aisha. I love it. Thank you so much for talking to me today. This was a really powerful conversation. Thank you for having me as well. I really love the show. So it'd be, it's amazing to be involved.